Hi there everyone and welcome to our first RCTA video for 2016. It's been a while, um, but here's a video I've been wanting to do since uh, uh, since the holidays. Okay, in this video I'd like to oh I'd like to run through with you how to program your servo board. Okay, now um, what I've done is I've added all the different servo programs onto the single chip here on your servo board and all you need to do is uh, select which type of program you want. So servo can operate um, as a recoil servo in you know recoil servo function, it can operate as an elevator servo, it can uh, use to control your smoke unit if you've got a burn effects unit. Um, I've also got some additional programs I've added in. Uh, you can now use servo as an automatic machine gun servo. So if you've got a machine gun in your tank, you can just set a servo up to it and it will just automatically jiggle around that machine gun to look like that machine gun's being operated via the inside. Uh, it also has a couple of uh, trigger systems for like Mako and, and things like that. But uh, I'll show you how to access all of those. Um, very simply what you need is a good old RCTA LCD a diagnostic LCD I'm also going to start making these a bit more available uh, I'm going to produce small backpacks um, just something like that probably retail I want these to retail at about well less than 10 US dollars um, so you pick one of these up and then you will just go online to eBay say and buy yourself an LCD screen. Now these are available on eBay for about three dollars, so that's that's with postage. So that's cheaper than I can even post one to you. So if you really want to save some money, you just need to buy one of these off eBay for three dollars. You'll solder on a header, so that you will have to do some soldering. It's pretty easy. There's there is 16 pins there. It's a very easy solder job. So you solder a header across there and um, well this one's a little bit different but um, and then you'll just attach it onto your LCD backpack and so that should come in at less than fifteen dollars but I want to make these LCD backpacks more available uh, because a lot of the new boards now I'm bringing out will you know they all interface with the LCD screen so you can see what's going on enough about that how to program servo okie dokie here's your servo board first thing you need to do well, there's two things you need to do. Um, to access program mode, what we do is we pop out that jumper. Okay, with that jumper out, um, when everything else is set, it'll start the program mode. And then when you've actually got the function that you want Servo to be operating as, we then put that jumper back on and that sets it in that mode. So I'll put that aside. Next thing we need to do is, I know it's, it's always hard to try and show the um, the screens, but with your radio, you need to set up a channel that you're able to scroll through. So the best channel for that is good old channel 6. And if you can see the channel 6 line there, of course, it's assigned to a pot, your volume pot. And you want to make sure that it can go from full, you know, the full range, from plus 100 to minus 100%. Let's see if I can get the... Uh, there we go. The video will go dark a bit now, I guess. As you can see there, it can go from 100% to minus 100%. So you want to make sure you have a channel able to do that. Okay, and whatever channel you have that on is what the channel we connect up servo to. So here I have here my receiver. That's on channel 6 that I've got there. So I've got a servo lead plugged into channel 6. Now you'll, once you've got all that, you plug in your LCD screen and then it's a simple matter of powering up servo from the receiver as you can see here that lead and we'll see what happens there we go the screen will come on it'll quickly go to those X's flash for a bit and then it'll come up as you see on the LCD screen all the information there happened so fast before I could talk you through it as you can see, it's saying on the screen there, edit servo mode. Ugh, can't even speak these days. Zero channel to start. Okay, so basically we have the setting at plus 100 to let servo know we're entering edit mode. And then we're going to start. So we're just going to bring that back to the zero position. As you can see, it'll now say edit servo mode. Now, as you dial up, <coughs> sorry.
sorry, as you dial up through the channel, the different settings or different operation modes will appear. So at neutral, it's set as an elevation servo, which is the default setting, setting number two. That's where you have, like, say, channel three, where you have your guns still at the maximum of channel three. So in elevation servo mode, servo is only operating, say, between plus 75 and minus 75 percent. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so what happens as we dial through? Well, let's go all the way down to the bottom. As you can see, it swings around there. So if we go down to minus 100%, the first option we can choose is to control our smoke unit. So this is for our burn effects unit. As we dial, as you can watch here, as we dial up, it'll change. And you can also see the settings on servo there. There. The next one up is the full range servo. So if we're not having our guns on channel the same channel as our elevation servo, um, we will use this setting as that gives you the full 100 to minus 100 percent range for your for your elevation servo keep scrolling up we have elevation servo keep scrolling up we have an alarm uh, of course with the uh, well you guys know with the 9x junior alarm okay um, recall servo here so if you're connecting it up to an ASP for example um, you would stop the setting there. Flak servo, oops, went too fast. A flak servo setting here is if you've got the flak servo mod whereby you have two separate servos operating two separate flak cannons. As we keep scrolling up, there's that automatic machine gun I told you about previously and a Mako trigger. Okay, we can use that if you've got any Makos left over or, um, you know, since we're not making makers anyway, um, you can put them still to good use. You just connect up a servo to them, and then you have got, again, um, remote control of a Mako. So you can set that up in a, a, a some sort of building or something, and you can remotely fire IR signals on the battlefield. Just another use for servo here. So we're going to set this up. Um, well, most of you guys will be setting it up there as maybe the recall servo. So you just dial it to there, grab your jumper, little jumper here, and then we place the jumper back across the two pins, like that, and the program complete, and it'll tell you what setting you're on. Okay, so we've programmed it to a recall servo, and we need to restart the system, basically turn off and um, turn it on again. So I've waffled on for seven minutes to show you something really basic. Um, but that's how easy it is to um, choose any of those six or so settings for your servo board. Thank you.